I was uh, listening to Mike Gallagher comment about that situation in Ferguson, Missouri. First of all, you get a guy shot dead who decided to shoot at police. Now the crowd is angry about that, as if the police should stand there and take the bullets. And then the, the liberals behind the demonstrations, or communists most likely, well, what's the difference, argue that, well, there were plainclothes policemen in the crowd. That wasn't fair. What? Are you nuts? <laughs> Secondly, uh, Michael Brown was a criminal, a street thug. He was stealing cigars and roughing up a shop owner. Then he tried to take a, a, a firearm away from a police officer and was beating on the police officer. The, so the police officer, in order to save his own life, shot the thug dead. Why is there a need then to go out a year later and have a demonstration about that unless these people actually believe that anarchy is going to be the solution? You know what you have, and it has nothing to do with the color of their skin. You've got a lot of people in this country, white, black, brown, red, whatever color they may be, and it's a generational thing. They think that everybody owes them a free lunch, that they're entitled to it. Somehow they think they're entitled to go around beating up, stealing uh, firearms from police officers and shooting police officers, and that nobody is going to fire back. You want to talk about a definition of a wasted and lost generation of Americans, and now there are not just one. There's a few of these generations out there. What's going to happen? We brought up the fact that oil prices have been plummeting over the last few weeks. Oil prices, and I was looking at some more charts today, we may be in for another housing bubble that will collapse. We, we have a, a Chinese economy that's teetering. What would happen, and, and governments no longer can go out, that stimulus won't work the second time around. The, the central banks all over the world say that they're tapped out. They can't go around trying to save things that way. So let's say what happens if we end up with a collapse of this economy that is akin to what we saw in the early 1930s. Let's just say, I mean, I'm not advocating for it for sure. Let's just say that happens. All of these people out there who think they are entitled to food stamps and to rental assistance and to heating and cooling assistance and that they're entitled to go out and ride in the streets, what do you think is going to happen in that situation? Has anyone ever seen the, uh, the madness of, a, of a, a deranged society? I think it's called, it may not be quite the title, but it was, a, it, was a, it was a short documentary on YouTube, about 10 minutes in length. Uh, and, and, and they've expanded it. They've done another dozen of these since then. But the guy decided to take a video and put it together, and it shows what happens when they open up the stores for those post-Thanksgiving sales, and people come running in, and they're knocking each other down so they can buy a $10 toaster made by slave labor in China. And they're just trampling each other. And he said, what will happen if we get to that point where the, 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 the federal trough is, uh, is empty. Then what are they going to do when they want something? Well, we're seeing, we're seeing the seeds of that in Ferguson, Missouri, Baltimore, Maryland. And think about that on a nationwide basis. What do they think is going to happen if they start going out in the streets then and just looting and burning and killing and maiming? You're going to see this government, right or wrong, bring in the helicopter gunships and they are going to just take out huge swaths of our inner cities or wherever else this is going on. This is no joke. And these people out there rioting and getting the TV cameras and all of the attention and the, the, the applause from the White House and their friends in mainstream media are going to find themselves, as we used to say when I was young, SOL. Bill Colley with you. God willing, if the creek don't rise, they'll allow me to do this again tomorrow morning. After today, who knows? Uh, between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock, Dr. Jonathan Tripp is also scheduled to join us tomorrow. We may also have Suzanne Hawkins in studio a little after uh, 9 o'clock from the Twin Falls City Council. Uh, also available to take some of your questions or telephone calls. Rush Limbaugh is coming up next following news at 10 o'clock. News from Fox. And, of course, Sean Hannity following Fox News at 1. Glenn Beck following Fox News uh, this afternoon at 4. Dave Ramsey tonight, and of course, coast to coast during the overnight, right here on News Radio 1310 KLIX and NewsRadio1310.com.